AVX comes with rechargeable lithium-ion battery packs. If you want a battery check, press the button. Green LED lights will let you know how long you still got to go. Every green LED light means that you got about an hour to go. But if there is a red LED light starting to flash, like this one, that means you got 15 minutes. 15 minutes to wrap up your sequence, to get new batteries, or to recharge. Now, to recharge, you can actually use the mini USB at the side of the battery. You can plug it in like that, and this end goes into a laptop or goes into this thing, so you can make a regular plug out of it, or it goes into a juice pack or whatever you want. Now, the cool thing is that you can actually run the AVX while charging. To save energy, the AVX uses a phantom power signal from the camera to turn on, stay on, and turn off. So, if I turn off my camera and the phantom power will go away, you'll notice that the AVX will automatically turn off. It might take a while, 10 to 30 seconds, because it takes time to cool down and to let the power go, but eventually, there you go, it's gone. And if I switch on my camera again, it will automatically turn on the AVX as well. Transmitter, the same thing, it will go into a sleep mode and will wake up again once the phantom power is there again. If you don't have phantom power on your device, it will also work, but then you'll switch on and off the AVX manually. The status LED on your receiver will go from red to green once you pair it up to a transmitter. And when you have several AVXs on the table, press the pair button to identify the corresponding transmitter. If you want to pair another transmitter to a receiver, press the pair button on both receiver and transmitter simultaneously. And if you press the pair button shortly afterwards again, on either receiver or transmitter, it's easy to recognize the new couple. Sennheiser recommends a maximum amount of AVXs in one room to 12 channels in Europe and 8 in America. Yeah, that should be plenty, right? Oh, and on the multi-channel systems, don't bother about trying to find frequencies because the AVX will do it fully automatically. But because the AVX receiver is also talking to the transmitter on a back channel, please use the best possible audio cables just to avoid unwanted signals on your audio. Right, and the only thing left to talk about is the range of these microphones. It's, um, they're set to go up to 30 meters or even more, so let's test it. I got my hand mic, got my level ear mic, and um, if I break up before the end of this film, it's been a pleasure. My name is Geert, and uh, enjoy. Tschüss. Okay, so we're starting here. We're about, about five to 10 meters, and we'll see where it takes us. All right, so there we go. Okay, so there, I'm guessing about 15 meters now. 15 to 20 meters. There's a rooster, a rooster man. Okay. Hello, Mr. Cow. <laughs> That's a big cow, a big, a, a, a big bull, actually. Okay, 30 meters. And if the geese are letting us through. Oh, they're looking, uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, trespasser. This is my handheld. This is my level ear. I don't know if you guys still copy, but still going strong, still going strong.